if I check your life, I will see many revelations that you had. Many encounters. Many things that God has said to you, but you didn't raise any altar along the line of those encounters to trap those encounters and to make it your own. Many of you have lost things. You have missed out of things. Most of what you see that is responsible for what becomes a great man in God was an encounter that an altar was raised around. In the first instance, when the things came, they were feeble, they were faint, they were weak things. But when the altars were built around them, many years later, they began to gain strength and capacity and shape and structure. But they came in the most feeble way in order to give muscle and structure to that which came just like a dream of the night. And to make it a concrete reality, you may need to build an altar. It was at the age of 13 that I knew that I was going to preach the gospel. But even in the encounters I had, I asked a question. I asked angels this question. Hallelujah. Because I was a grievous stammerer. And I said, why will God want a stammerer to preach for you? How much can I do to the enterprise of the gospel without the ability to communicate effectively? Those were my words when I was 13 years old. And in the realm where I was asking this human question, they could not understand why I was so ignorant in that realm. In fact, one of the angels, you know, I found out experientially, that angels are very difficult to appease. Because of the question I asked, the scroll the angel was reading, which I have now understood that it was the, the outline of my destiny. If I was a little bit more patient, maybe I would, I would have gotten the entire thing he was trying to read. But I, I punctuated him with my question. And the scroll from whence he read, he, he rolled it and struck my tongue. That was how the encounter stop. I, I found myself in the room again. You know what? I built an altar around that encounter. So that moment, are you with me? I hope you know eternity doesn't have time. Eternity is timeless. It's the realm of a perpetual continuum. It's the realm of an eternal now. Hallelujah. It's a realm of perpetual presence. Are you with me? Oh, you are not with me. Now, so when you have an encounter from that realm that is timeless, if you have the technology of trapping that encounter and you build an altar around the encounter, what you have done is that that moment in eternity, are you with me? That moment, in eternity from whence God secured the window to reach out to you that moment can live in your life forever because you trapped it around an altar so when God comes with dreams and comes with visions and encounters he is not in the entertainment business he is hoping he is hoping sincerely hoping that there is a wise man in the earth that we understand that this is the language of the immortals. They speak with pictures. They speak with signs and symbols. And if you trap an altar around it, you can make those weak runes of the spirit a critical part of your existence. And structures will be built around it. And it will live forever. 